Sarah's here to tell us what the social media reaction is looking like on the story, Sarah. Well, Doreen, we're seeing a lot of different reactions to Cardinal Pell's conviction. Now, people are talking about his cosy relationship with top politicians, and there's a lot of talk surrounding a video that recently resurfaced online. It's from 2004. It's an interview with the then PM, Tony Abbott, who later, of course, became Prime Minister. Actually, now that you mention it, I did meet with Cardinal Pell. So what? Why shouldn't I meet with Cardinal Pell? But why couldn't you recall meeting him, I think, 10 days ago? Uh, well, look, whenever it was. Um, so what? Why shouldn't I meet Cardinal Pell? Cardinal Pell is a fine man. He made a very good statement the other day about the Labor Party's education policy. Why shouldn't I meet with him? Well, thousands of people have reacted to that video, like this person here who's Greg. Uh, he calls Abbott a friend to Pell, an enemy of his victims. He says he isn't the only Australian politician that people are criticising, of course, because you also have conservative political activist Lyle Shelton that has tweeted about Pell, saying that he might actually be innocent and is asking that question as well. Now, in response, uh, this person says that Pell had actually two fair trials and was found guilty both times. That's how our justice system works. He says you can't pick and choose verdicts based on your biases. Now, we got in touch with investigative journalist uh, Lucy Morris Ma, and uh, she was the first person to report actually on the allegations against Pell back in 2016. In my view, the decision of the jury, 12 members of the public from the state of Victoria here in Australia, uh, handed down a sentence of guilty. Now, that should be respected. It's, it's concrete. Um, yes, there may well be an appeal. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, it was fair justice occurred. I was in court every single day. Uh, and I feel that um, Cardinal Pell needs now to be seen as a convicted paedophile. Of course, people in his supporters in politics and, and uh, the Catholic Church may not like to hear that, but that is the reality of the situation. Well, as you heard earlier, the Vatican also responded to Pell's conviction. Now, he's been banned from celebrating Mass and having any contact whatsoever with minors. The Holy See agrees with the statement issued by the President of the Australian Catholic Bishops' Conference regarding the sentence of guilt in the first instance concerning Cardinal George Pell. This is painful news that, as we are well aware, has shocked many people, not only in Australia. As already expressed on other occasions, we have the utmost respect for the Australian judicial authorities. Out of this respect, we await the outcome of the appeals process, recalling that Cardinal Pell maintains his innocence and has the right to defend himself until the last stage of appeal. So others who aren't necessarily focusing much on Pell himself are instead acknowledging those who have been affected by all this. And dozens of people have actually retweeted this person who talks about being forced to leave the Catholic Church back in 1995 that they were angered by Cardinal Pell's actions over two decades ago. And this person also adds, I'm glad his victims have uh, been heard and believed. And we'd love to hear your thoughts, of course, on this story, if you've been following it. And the hashtag to use throughout this show is AJ Newsgrid.